Hey, what is up guys? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today with another replica comparison video, something that you guys seem to enjoy here from my channel. And what can I say? I don't blame you because I love it myself. And today we have a JBL speaker clone versus the real one. Yes, I went to my local retail store, which is Best Buy, and I purchased the original Flip 6 by JBL, which is the red one that you guys see here. And this came from DHK guys. Now, before we continue, I would like to provide this disclaimer, which is the following. This video is not a promotion of the fake. It is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Replicas are not recommended and you should not buy them as typically these have low quality. With this being said, guys, I got this from DHK for about $33 approximately. The links will not be provided either due to the fact that, well, this is a replica and it is considered counterfeiting. So with this being said now, let's go ahead and pop it open. It came inside this bag. This was actually the shipping bag. There's no hard box. The box is actually the only thing protecting the speaker, which is the original box. So I think this probably came damaged, who knows? And we will be also providing the weight between one and the other. I can tell you that the real one feels a lot heavier. So here we go. Let's go ahead and crack it open. And we can see the box right here, guys. Check this out. We have nothing in here. So this is the fake. You can see how the box looks like it was hammered a little bit here in the corners. And well, let's do a brief comparison. This is a this is a really easy one to tell, guys. Uh, first of all, I mean, come on, you don't have to be that smart to tell that this is the fake. And well, you can see the real one. Now, don't get distracted by the box, guys, thinking that this is how they're gonna sell it on the streets. I seen to where sometimes these suppliers they tell you or ask you if you need the exact same box as the real one and that can happen so anyways taking a look at the uh, boxes here we can see how the flip six logo is entirely different from the real one also the pictures of the speakers are not the same whatsoever towards the bottom this one says bluetooth version 5.1 this one says wireless bluetooth speaker towards the right we had the 12 hour logo and i highly believe that this is not going to last 12 hours and I'm talking about the fake one and then here towards this side you can see how the picture here is super blurry not only that guys but the box is off by an inch from each side as well so right here you can see the picture is missing the exclamation point it says there to listen and this looks like it was like the pre-released uh, box or something that they just got from some sores about the box, but this is not even close to a one-to-one -one box as you guys can tell uh, On this side you can see how it says all purpose it says all purpose all weather Companion this one says bold sound for every adventure So we're gonna start with the real one as you guys can tell it is completely sealed Let's go ahead and crack the seals open right here. There we go and uh, I think guys that as of right now, these are the only replicas available in terms of how they look. And the reason I say this is because all of them on the, on the site, they have about the same price, which is $36, $34 approximately. And yeah, for that reason, I believe that uh, these replicas are all going to be the same. So let's see here, there we go. I was opening it incorrectly. So, Again, this is for the real one. You can see how nice the box looks. I mean, this is obviously a professional looking box or high quality if you want to call it that way. So on here we have things like the manuals and such. That's exactly what I see here. It even has a little like pull tab on the inside. Check this out, guys. I mean, I can already tell how you know what the difference will be in terms of weight so this is the real one as you guys can tell we have the party connect button right here the volume uh, up and down and the play button as well and the jbl logo is actually embedded 
on the speaker itself. On the side, we had that little exclamation point with the radiators on each side, okay? And then on the back is where we had the Flip 6 logo, as you guys can tell, with the power button. And then we had the Bluetooth button with, I think this is a battery indicator as well, USB-C. And this is like a little stopper, I believe. This is actually in case you guys want to remove the cover around it, you can remove it as well. So that's cool. All right, so there we have it, guys, for the real one. And as you guys can tell, I am a JBL fan. I do have the Flip 5 on the background as well. And now we are getting into the fake. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Now, the first difference here, the major one, is that this doesn't have the little flip cover like we have here on the real one. And wow, there's a big difference on the inside, guys. This is not a professional box whatsoever. I mean, you're getting what you pay for, which is what, $30, $34. And uh, here it is. Wow, the weight difference is drastic. So these are the manuals that we get. And I just dropped that. It deserves it. So, okay. This is the product warranty. All right, you had to fill it up by hand or with a pencil or a pen. And uh, basically giving us what the buttons do. Okay, the information of it. And then we get a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack. And we get a type A USB cable to USB C. And that's it. That's all we get inside, guys check this out let's go ahead and look here at the front the JBL logo on the fake is not embedded it's actually like a like a something that was glued on there feels super cheap compare it to this one and you can see the drastic difference on the top here we have a menu button instead of a party connect button then we had the volume up and down and of course the play button as well. Okay, let's take a look at them from the back side. Okay, so on the left, I'm gonna try to keep it the same. On the left, we have the fake, and on the right, we had the real one. So this one says flip, flips, or flip six, excuse me. But you can tell how the fonts are entirely different, guys. Even the little string here, the quality, Look at the difference. This one is super open. The bottom one is the fake, by the way. The upper one is the real one. And so look at the buttons. And even the size of the speakers are not the same, guys. So this one is quite easy to tell, you know, which is the fake and which is the real. We can tell how the USB-C port are different. This one has a red color finish on the middle side of the port and a chrome finish as well on the side of the walls on the inner side you guys can see that this one is completely blacked out also the battery indicators are different this one actually lights up this one doesn't and then the bluetooth indicators are different this one is imitating more like that jbl party boost symbol but this is just the bluetooth if you press it it'll do the same thing as this one it'll just go into uh, bluetooth mode for connection purposes we get the power keys and then the flip six on the real uh, which is the one on the top it looks more like a 3d print you can feel it when you touch it this one is completely flat so they made it look like the rest of the logos here so you guys can tell comparing the weight here well it is in grams and on the left i have the fake the right is the real one the fake weights 43.4 grams and the real one weights 53.1 grams. Comparing these two even further on the side here where the exclamation point is, we can tell how on the original it is uh, chrome looking, but it is in red. Also the inner rubber piece, it is red on the real one and on the fake is black. The dimension here, the uh, radius of the fake is a little bigger than the real one. And the same thing goes here for the opposite side, as you guys can tell. 
And yes, I mean, the easy giveaway here will be the JBL logos. These are uh, just sticked on there with uh, adhesive. And these are embedded. I'm pretty sure they have adhesive as well, but they look a lot firmer. I mean, this, guys, I can just peel it off if I want to. As a matter of fact, you can see how it moves if I apply a little bit of pressure. So these won't even last a day on, I would assume and it just feels so cheap guys another difference i noticed between the fake and the real is that the ends the real one has like a rubberized material so if i slide it you can't probably hear anything because it is rubberized i don't know if you guys can notice that it is a little bit transparent as well well unfortunately we don't have that here with the fake it is hard plastic so you can tell the difference even if I flip it over same scenario so now that we know what they look like physically I'm talking about the real and the fake let's go ahead and do a sound test and well you guys be the judge I'll be right back <laughs> Well guys, we can tell that the quality between one and the other is simply not comparable at all. And yes, for $34 here on the fake, I mean the quality is so poor in terms of sound as you guys just heard that it makes it not worth it. I mean, I'd rather pay $100 extra, which is what this one costs. It's about $139 after taxes and you get so much more guys. You get that quality, that bass, that that everything i mean even even just feeling it it's a lot different this one feels like if i just smash it against the floor it'll become a million pieces and yes we do get of course the party boost with the real one in which i have here the flip five and it works great there's no lag whatsoever and on the fake what you get instead is a mode button as i showed you guys before now interesting enough this one has a pretty good fm radio and well that's that's kind of cool i mean i had to say uh but the plus and minus button if you tap it that's for skipping on the real one if you tap it that's for the actual volume uh this one you had to press and hold for the volume so if i tap it i'll actually be either skipping the song or changing radio stations so let's go ahead and increase the volume here real quick you guys can hear that radio station okay and if i click here on the plus i'm changing stations and if i click here on the uh play it'll search for the next uh good sounding uh fm station which again it is okay and it works for the most part uh but yes the quality is just of the speaker itself it's not there guys and also when you connect to them let's go here on bluetooth you can see how the original connects as jbl flip 6 and the fake connects as 
flip six with everything um, uppercase as you guys can tell so that's the major difference and yeah let me know what you guys think about each one of these speakers uh, I mean I gotta say guys I will go 100% with the real one and well the fake you if you do buy it you're getting what you're paying for and yeah so with this being said guys I have a very cool video coming soon which is about another fake if you don't want to miss it make sure that you click on that bell icon and also subscribe if you haven't done so hit that like button if this video was helpful for you guys if you do like this kind of content it really helps me out when you guys like the video and yes don't forget to comment down below let me know what your opinions are and i'll see you guys on my next one